Hey, what are you doing? I got doubles in this trailer. <laughs> man, uh, kicking off this uh, the snowmobile challenge with a little special treat, huh? Doubles, yeah. So the old snowmobile challenge sled, she's in there. She's okay, there up. you got two at one time, huh? You don't get to see that yet, but I also completed a little personal endeavor. Just something on the side that you're looking for more on the top. You know what I'm saying? Now your boy Leo in there says uh -huh. he thinks this little personal endeavor is worthy of its own video. Is that what this is? This is what's happening. Okay. And we're so, kicking it off the right way, dude. You say oh. it's something. If you guys have paid attention for a while, if you're watching closely, you'll know that I have been in search of a particular sled for my own personal collection. Just because personal meaning to this sled, uh -huh. I personally think that it's basically the coolest sled that's ever been built. Um, and yeah, I've been trying to find a clean one for a while. They're very rare, not very many made. When we were in heydays, tried to buy one really hard, really hard. Didn't work. It wasn't in the cards. Wasn't in the cards. Pull out all the stops. Guy wouldn't let it go. But the stars have aligned and we got one. I just picked it up. Okay, right let's see it, dude. I'm gonna wait just a second until you get up in there. Oh, oh, oh brother! So this oh. is a 1996 Yamaha VMAX 4. It's an 800 cc four cylinder. Wowzers! Very unique sled. They made these from 92 to 97. In total, over all the years, only about 7,000 of them built. Just you know, in the realm of production, anything, basically none. There were roughly 700 of this particular year made. And this is like pretty much. She's the hot rod of hot rods, she's, huh? She's the Let's hot just see rod what's going on underneath there. And she's wow. Holy One of those holy. is broken. Now, you know, like it's not restored. It's just right. full survivor. Like a little bit of time, we can clean this up way nicer. But. Uh, so is this like two twins put together? Or is this uh, pretty, pretty much so. I mean, it's obvious it's one set of cases, so the bottom of the engine is one yeah. engine, but there's actually two separate crankshafts that gear together and then drive a PTO shaft out to the clutch. Wow. What? Extremely unique setup. Wow. Wow. Extremely unique setup. And uh, these things, they sound nuts. They're just, they're just cool. Like, nobody was doing anything like this. A four-cylinder. When it came out in 92, it was like... People were just lost their marbles. Huh? What the hell's going on yeah. here? You know? And uh, I just think they're super unique and super badass. And I wanted one to rip around a little bit, keep clean, and just So have. you've never had one of these before? Uh, no. Actually, my drag race sled is a VMAX 4. It started life as a 92, but then I tore it all up. Did a bunch of custom okay. stuff. It's got a different engine, yada, yada. Yeah. So I really wanted one of these more original condition yeah this one is super original the only thing that's been changed is the track and it's got you know an aftermarket set of silencers on it but just let her let her sing a little bit you know so much of the stuff on this like these aluminum skis only on vmax really very hard to find this has got them that one's a little bent straighten it out a little bit and they were all red they weren't black no there were only two years that were red 96 and 97 were red so this is and, even more rare. In each of those years, they were different reds. Wow, was this the so only year that came in this particular red? Yamaha, dude, really we're making it tough for Gluckster's, huh? This is a special sled. This is a special sled, and it's really clean. It's got 3,400 miles on it. I bought it from the second owner, who didn't put many miles on it. Like, so what so, you're saying is we need some snow. So does it run? It does run. It does run. Maybe we'll get it out of the trailer because I don't want to drive it on the rubber floor. Yeah, that makes sense. Suckers riding wheelies right in the trailer. Don't need no help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Dude, it's got the same debt as mine. That I paid eight hundred dollars for. Yeah. Guy thinks he's got another set of skis lined up for me, but. If not, we'll straighten that one out. This it's thing is no big nuts, deal. Dude. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. She's clean. Oh my god! Whoa, look at this. They're not even chipped up. I know it. This is like looking back at 1996. Six. So uh, yeah, I think uh, we should probably hear it, huh? Might as well. Yeah. 
first pull. I don't know, we did start it when I picked it up, but it's the first time it's ran since last year. So. I mean, even that, dude, what an interesting sounding sled. Yeah, that is pretty wanna, sweet. I don't want to wrap on it too hard because right. it's, you know, she's been sitting, gas yeah, and she's stuff, been sitting for a while. I don't want to see it, dude. Is it super clean? It's survivor level clean. Oh, like, it's not, you know, it's not been polished and, and all those things, but. It's literally survivor, you're right. But it's yeah. almost better this way. It is. It is. Yeah, to have all this little stuff, to have this foam and all this complete is pretty. Yeah. Pretty wild. Dude, boost bottles, they knew what they were doing. Yeah. Can you imagine? Huh. I've seen the truck, dude. I saw the truck. I mean, there's no <laughs> Max 4s in the air. <laughs> you know, there was a saying that was, uh, Doug used to be a part of this forum way back that we were both a part of, and I thought he was oh, a 40 yeah. year old man. Yep. Judging by how he uh, acted online, I acted like a child. Anyway, <laughs> in, in, his, in his signature part on the forum, it said, uh, whoever dies with the most toys wins. So I think we're in a current. We're in a bad, we're in a state I think I had that on my MySpace too. Yeah. Seriously, you're crazy. <laughs> this is uh, sick, dude. Yeah, you, this is sweet. So yeah, a little bit of work. Like these actually rip pretty hard. She makes some power, you know. So what we'll kind get of her. Power do yeah, what are they factory? I guess probably 145. Oh. Okay. So you know, they really. I, I don't want to modify it. Really, yeah, right. but if somebody out there happened to have a set of quad pipes around for a VMAX 4, you know, let me know. I mean, you could always hit, go back from them. Hit me right? up, you know. <laughs> this is so cool. Uh, Dude, even the seat. Look at the seat. Like, feel the seat. Beautiful. Touch it. Yeah. Wow, it's so soft. Yeah, it's so it's soft. Very supple. I think it's going to be an investment piece, you know. Will we ride it, have a nice time with it, will we keep it nice, I think the value on these is going to skyrocket in the coming years. They're going to become very hard to get, so. Yeah, let's not hack this up, put an RS1 motor, then put a turbo on it. No. And go even further and make it a risk. None of that. <laughs> <laughs> None of that. <laughs> Four to six days later. Oh, there's stuff going on here, boys. There is stuff going on. We are two days from leaving for Florida. And Hellforce is still in weld mode. Doug, what have you been doing down here, bud? Uh, you know, fixing some of our uh, past discrepancies. So, uh, Hellforce pretty much has to leave here in what, like two days, 48 hours. So, yeah. uh, time to finish fixing this frame up. We got some new tubes bent, slightly stronger than the last tubes. Nice. And uh, just tacking up the shock mounts, and then we got to put a little brace in, spray some paint on it, reassemble it. She's ready to go. You're telling me you're not putting long travel king shocks on this straight from freaking not doing sand car, dude. Not doing any of that stuff. I I know, I get it. Like we want to be able to bash it through the whoops too, but at the end of the day, we still have a car rear suspension with this much suspension travel. Wait, how much? I didn't even see you. This so much. Hmm, that's so, not a lot. You know, unless we start over and rebuild this whole car for a different purpose, it's not really going to bash through giant whoops ever. Imagine if you took like a uh like a Hellcat, you know, Challenger. Yeah. Out in the dunes. What would you expect to happen? You know, that's basically this. And then put more weight in the back. Right, so. <laughs> we're not gonna go crazy, no long travel. Just do burnouts, go fast on smooth surfaces. That's all we needed to do, so. There is some of that gonna happen, I think, right? <sighs> we are on our way to do just that. Cletus and Cars, Florida, Bradenton, you know the deal. Lay mullets. We're winning. We're winning that one. We're doing the burnout contest. We're winning that one. Damn. Sounds like we're going to the drag strip. I don't know who we're racing, but we're winning that one too. <laughs> I'll call you out on my pro R, dude. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> that might be a fun race, actually. That could actually be, yeah, enjoyable. Uh, so yeah, we're just uh, fixing this thing up. Assemble it, clean it, prep it. Get ready to go for it. Hell yeah, dude. Good job. This looks good. This looks Thanks, like man. pretty much how it looked when you first assembled it. Yeah, really the only uh, the only change I made is uh, these tubes were previously, you know, just El Cheapo steel yep. and uh, they're now Docal. So Do -call. it's honestly going to be probably a solid 30% stronger. Who are you going to call? Than it was Doe. It's always <laughs> who I call when I need good metal. 
What up, though? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think it's the same thickness, just way better metal. So that'll be fine. No more bashing up lips up China wall. Uh, Matt cleaned the air filter. Uh, a lot of you guys said the inside of that intake tube was dirty. Turns out it wasn't. We got that going for us. The whole car needs a clean, too. Sucker's cooked. It looks bad overall. <laughs> Super bad. We got two whole days. No big deal. Not really. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> It's actually a lot of other stuff going on as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put drag radials on those wheels. I hate to get rid of the paddles, but they are pretty useless for I the mean, next short period. Yeah, I don't think we'll be using paddles in the upcoming months because it is basically winter here now. Yeah. So, so other things going on. My suspension on my Pro R is getting changed, so this is sort of interesting. Stock ball joints, uh, this is a 22, and that's a 12 millimeter on the threaded side. And this is a 23. That's a 14 millimeter on the threaded side. So hopefully that's enough. If not, we'll upgrade to some better ball joints in the future. But OEM, dude, they got us figured out. We're not gonna have crazy offset wheels again. So shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, anything else on this? Nah, dude. Mike's car, he's got it switched back to trail mode. He just put his uh, Simpsons back in, so he's full comfort. It's gonna be a good time. Doug, gotta get his car converted back to trail mode because we got some riding to do after Florida, boys. This is gonna be sick. On the first day of Christmas, Justin gave to me things that you'll be seeing in a couple days. <laughs> good. Here's a bunch. That's a good. Lot. This is going to be good. Uh, also, too, got a little wacky. Okay, we're going to Florida. We're going to Cletus and Carl. Garrett says we're going to have an exhibition drag race thing. I said, well, I don't have a drag car, but I have a trail car. Which we're going to make a drag car. Yeah, by putting skinnies and slicks on it. So, yeah. We got the uh, 2JP Slicks, 33105 Outlaws. I'm about to lower this sucker down. See what this old Turbo Pro R can do. Pro R's got a lot of gear in it. Hopefully bigger tire. I'm hoping I can make the full quarter without running out. Or at least get very close to I think it's going to run out, but we'll find out. We're going to do a little test it out front. You're also in full wheel drive, so please turn that off. Yes, smart. Is on. track it's gonna do something but I just don't think out here it's gonna happen like that front ends down pretty far from where it's supposed to be with those little tires Yeah, it is. It a bit. 
Just a little. What are you doing? It's picking the tire up like an inch. <laughs> Dang it! It seems like it wants to go really bad. I mean, here's the thing for drag racing, it looks super composed. Like it's just yeah. hooking and going. Yeah. We're doing wheeling, it's making you work for it. Yeah. I, it's not like the CF1 where she just laid down and went, you know? It's fighting it. You can feel it. It's like when we're watching, you said it feels like it's wheeling. I'm just watching the suspension travel like three feet at a time <laughs> yeah. and never leave the ground. This is sort of the problem with the Pro R in general. Like, you hit jumps, it just absorbs the takeoff yeah. of the jump. You try to do wheelies, it just absorbs the wheelie. If we were to put straps on the front end, she'd have been wheeling the car all day, looks, dude. The car looks fast. She yeah. probably let me drive that real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I want to see what it looks like. Is the throttle in uh, race mode? Throttle is in race mode. You can double check that, Mike, if you want. Also, every time you stop, it's just a shower of rocks. Yeah. Because those slicks really pick up a lot of goobly glop. Don't turn around right there. It's full of glass. Funny guy, you know? Wow. Huh. Is he in low still? No, that was definitely high. The clutching is just so spot on right now. Like that? I thought it sounded like rev limiter, but I guess not. We did a little bit of tuning on the clutch in Glamis, dude. It's A1. Did stop spinning Those for a minute tires, there. Those dude, are just too small, bro. <laughs> Must have been doing it really bad. <laughs> no respect for the grass. <laughs> so it did do that little wheelie with the with the right tire. Yeah. Like, eh. That right just comes off the ground, so. I know. It, uh, it feels very fast. That's what I'm saying. It feels very, I, I guess I haven't driven this in a while. <laughs> so I've kind of forgotten what it felt like on full tilt. You trying to get me to call it Big Dog right now, or? I mean, Big Dog doesn't have a seat. We could try it. Well, that's that's what you call that's what you call an excuse. Weight reduction. So oh, you're me I, oh okay. I have two seats. <laughs> Our average seat count is one, so we're fine. You're telling me right now we'll get Big Dog. Yeah, run it. All right, we'll run his ass up the street. Just I have to sit on a piece of foam just so everyone knows. That's okay. Just strap into the firewall. Hey, foam won't get you home. No, in this case, it might get him to the it, shop. It might. Did I hear a one three sixty foot? No, we're gonna race me and Big Dog. Oh, I thought I heard you scream at sixty to one three. What are you doing here? Oh, you know, just taking suppose the new giveaway. Why is he pushing it? <laughs> Does this clutch not work? Oh, he's got the foam in it. Oh wow. Right. It's a short distance. We have to have a finish line because my contact patch for stopping in the front is like <laughs> motorcycle level. <laughs> we were just going to go to the drain over there, but. Look at that. Now there's a really defined line. Yep. Thanks it's, for having me. It's straight, too. I hear a big dog in the distance. You can hear a big dog over there. <laughs> Maybe we got it. I don't know. Hey, good luck. Yeah, what the heck? They're starting down there? Yeah. I guess the good thing is, is that two days from now, I got the fence guy coming to fix all the other broken fence posts. <laughs> so if they overshoot this, guy's already coming to fix it. We're all right, good. can you stand? Yeah, there you go. up those tiny fronts. <laughs> wow, that was close. Wow, just basically even. That's so sketchy looking. <laughs> That's what close you, enough you'd really need a timing system. I know. 
I'll have to refer to the replay. Uh, <laughs> all right, that entire time, I was just thinking, I'm gonna run over his tires, and then I'm gonna flip into the fence, and then a fence post is gonna go through my head or something. You guys were dancing together. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> that was a great race, dude. So close. I can't tell who won. That was a great race. That was a good race! He wants to watch it again so bad. His belt got smoked really hard. Here's the thing. What a cowboy. We go to the Cleveson Cars events that we're going to this weekend in Bradenton, Florida. And it's like, man, I'm just, I can't see another burnout. And then we do a burnout here. It's just the best thing ever. Yeah. Burnouts are the best. Hey, good job out there, bud. That car is ripping. She spins real hard for her. Also very surprising how close that was. <laughs> Terrifying. But uh, yeah, that was awesome. Thank you guys for watching this uh, ridiculous kind of stuff. We have so many things going on, so many uh, irons in the fire, as they say. But the next video, we're launching another challenge that you guys like. Okay, we're doing it. We're going big this time. You don't even know what to prepare for but know to be prepared. That's all I'm saying. So thank you for watching, subscribing, liking, sharing. we got a new employee here. We'll talk about that in a little bit. He was supposed to do a big burnout. Uh, yeah, thank you guys again, and uh, we'll see you real soon. Justin, are you ready for that sled challenge, bud? Uh, I can't wait for it. I'm Jack. Yeah, should be Super Jack. Pumped. Good job out there, Mike. Thanks, man. Just really enjoying doing four-wheel drive burnouts. Yeah, that was sick. <laughs> right now, Doug is trying to sneak out to go get the prize for this uh, sled challenge. Not working good for him. You guys aren't ready for it. I promise you, you're not ready. Are we gonna We're... find out tomorrow? Well, you're gonna find out Thursday, because right now is what? Tuesday to the people, and then Thursday it will be the... Oh, But okay. for you, tomorrow. I, yeah, I'm... For Matt, tomorrow, everyone else watching, Thursday. Sorry. Love you guys. See you, Mike. See you guys. Bye. See you, Justin. See you, th see you Thursday. See you. See ya. <laughs> I don't exist yet, but see ya.